my channel. So today I'm gonna do the long promised Q&A video. I do have loads of questions this time and I actually have a list of those questions here in my computer and I'm gonna go through them. Uh, I just wanted to say that I'm gonna go with the lighter topics at first and then I'm gonna go deeper, especially about this shitty year, which I'm gonna end up very, very good, I hope. So let's go ahead and get started. The first question is, what have I been up to in the last couple of years? Well, I, as many of you know, I have been retired for three years here and there I did a little bit but for the most part I have been retired for three years and what have I been doing well you know I have my family I have my kid I have my dog my house so I just you know I just took care of that I was happy I actually bought chickens so I have a little chicken farm not that it might interest you, I don't know if that's going to interest you, but I'm very happy about it. I, I do my cooking, I do my farming, I do all that fun stuff with my family, and I'm happy. So my second question is, what was my England life like? I've actually addressed this uh, in my previous q video, so I don't really want to get into details about that, but I was working as an au pair there. I was uh, living there for a little over a year, year and a half. I had a relationship there, a boyfriend, and it was it was it was such an experience. I loved every second of it. I loved all the traveling. I loved everything about it. So the next question is, what's the best joke I know? This was a cute question, so I thought that I might answer it. I've actually had to write this uh, joke down and translate it uh, because I don't think that my brain works like that and I would probably mess that up because uh, I can't <laughs> tell jokes even my language so I did write that down uh, it's my favorite joke for like forever now I know it for so many years and it always gets me even though it's a, a little racistic and, and dirty and whatever I'm gonna just, just say it so, uh, a little gypsy girl comes to her mommy and asks, Hey mama, what exactly is sex? And the mama goes, Well, that's when your father puts the most valuable thing that he has inside. In, inside? Yeah, I can't tell you account. <laughs> so, the mama goes, Well, that's when your father puts the most valuable thing he has inside where you pee. And the little gypsy girl thinks about it, and then she goes, well, that's not really possible. Papa would never put his Adidas sneakers inside the sink. It's ridiculous, I know, but I love, I just love it. <laughs> so the next question is, what do I find really therapeutic? Therapeutic? I'm not saying that right. Uh, well, I don't know if it's weird or not, but when I have these anxieties and I get stressed out, I love just plugging my airpods in and I would listen to the uh, crime stories, the, the real raw stories, murders and all that stuff. It kind of puts my feet on the ground in the meaning that I'm like, yo, worst things can happen in life than you are going through. And I've been through, through some shit this year, but it can still be worse. Well, another thing that I do to calm myself down is that, don't laugh at me, but I will grab a tweezer and I would just rip apart my cuticles, cuticles, what well, the skin around the, the nail. I would just, you know, cut it and scratch it and pick on it and I would end up with my fingers being all bloody, which I, I'm like, right now I'm pretty healed, but, but that's... That's the crazy thing I do when I'm anxious or stressed out. And what else do I do? Like, I'm this weird person that I would just, when I have something wrong in my mind, I would just go and clean the house to shit. I would bleach everything down, I would wipe things like the surfaces that you wouldn't touch in a million years, I would wipe them down. And when I'm in some serious shit, I would just grab a bottle of wine and I would go to sleep after that. 
So the next, next question is, Satan is creating a custom hell for me. What does he put in it? So in my personal hell, there should be Netflix, there should be warmth, there should be all the different candies and chocolates that I like, there should be a bathtub, there should be the huge king size bed, bedroom, and what else? Just food. Just food in general. Like, just have plenty of food there and I'm yours. And cigarettes. Don't forget that. So the next question was, what ridiculous thing has someone tricked me into doing or believing? I was trying to dig into my mind and I couldn't really find anything funny or, or awkward or ridiculous to, to address this question. I really have no idea. Like, I do that shit by myself because I can't really decide when I'm into rush or when I'm under the pressure. I would just like do crazy random things by myself. I don't need to even have to have another person to tell me what to do because I would do this shit by myself. The next question is what is the most unusual fear I have? Man, I have well, I have I have a phobia. I have one phobia and I am terrified, petrified of grasshoppers. I have got this fear when I was little because my little brother used to catch them in, into a little box and he would hide them so our mother can't see them under my bed. And one time I woke up in the morning and the box was open and the grasshoppers and there were those 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 huge ones like I mean those um, Australian ones like the big green shit with jumps everywhere and they were all over my room, in my hair, under my blanket, they were everywhere. And ever since, I can't even go to an open field because I am so scared that this shit is gonna jump on me. So I am like, like when I have to go on the grass, like, I mean not normal grass, but like the high grass in the woods or somewhere, I would always at least wear those uh, high boots so I, ha I have at least a little protection for myself. And the most unusual fear I have, well, I pretty much fear of everything. I'm super careful with myself, that means I won't do anything crazy just in case that something bad would happen to me. I always put my seatbelt on, I would always look twice before crossing the street, stuff like that. So I'm just like cautious and safe about myself and the family. Next question is, what's in my pockets right now? Well, right now I don't have pockets, but I have my electronic cigarettes. Oh, I would never leave house without it. I have my phone. I'm actually recording audio, audio here at the moment, so I have that turned on and it has some shit on it. So I have my iPhone and I never leave my house or go anywhere without a lip balm with a bottle of water, which I have here. Just realized. My credit card or some cash. I actually prefer cash. I'm that type of person who doesn't really like all those like electronic virtual money so I just like to have some cash on me all the time. So now let's get into some serious topics. I have this one main thing that I want to discuss with you and let's say like put it clear and be honest with you about it and that is the prison thing. Yeah. Like I mentioned in the beginning, uh, I have been working in the um, casting agency. I'm not going to say any names, I'm not going to say anything, and I cannot really go into details because the investigation is still ongoing. So I'm just going to go around it a little bit, but not really into too much details. But I have been working in the casting agency for three years, and I have stopped and left the agency a little over a year ago. And for the three years I have been working there, I have been to the police for a chat. Like really just like telling my explanation to those things, addressing those things. Uh, I have been there a couple of times, I would say two times, 
it might be three times but we I always left in a good spirit it's like they they just asked me like what's happening there well I told them exactly what happened I said hey we had contracts we have all the BTS videos that proves that they did it and they wanted to do it and so on and they were like yeah okay you know just, just so we know so they wrote that down into their computer or whatever and I left 